welcome to our lesson on inverse proportion. So we're going to model when two units are inversely proportional to each other. And we're going to do this using the proportionality symbol, which we saw in the previous lesson. So in this case, it says that y varies indirectly with x. We write this as y is proportional to 1 divided by x. This means as x increases, y would decrease. This tells you that they are inversely proportional. We need to use the constant of proportionality, k, to model this relationship. We have a value of y and x when y is 2 and x is 12. So y, which is 2, is equal to k divided by x, which is 12. By multiplying both sides by 12, we can find that k is equal to 2 times 12, which is 24. So our model, substituting this value of k into this formula, is y is equal to 24 divided by x. And this describes the variation. Now we can apply this model to find the value of y when we know that x is equal to 8. So y is equal to 24 divided by x. We can substitute x is equal to 8 into the model. So y is equal to 24 divided by 8. y is equal to 3. We can also use the model to work out the value of y when x is equal to 6. So we can substitute into our model the new value of x. So you can see that when x is equal to 6, y is equal to 4. And we can see that as x gets smaller, y is getting bigger. OK, let's try the next set of results. Again, we are told that h varies indirectly with r. We can model this relationship using the value of k. We'll substitute in when h is equal to 4 and r is equal to 3. We'll substitute these two values into this formula. So we have 4 is equal to k divided by 3. We'll multiply both sides by 3. These will cancel. So we're left with k is equal to 12. So our model is h is equal to 12 divided by r. We'll use this model to find the value of h when r is equal to 1. So h is equal to 12 divided by 1, h is equal to 12. In the next part of the question, we're given h at the 144. We have the same model. So 144 is equal to 12 divided by r. To work out r, we're going to multiply both sides by that term. So 144r will equal 12. We'll divide both sides by 144. So r will equal 1 12. And again, you can see as r decreases, the value of h is increasing. Okay, let's try a couple more questions. Each pair of measurements vary directly. Do you want to try and set up a formula for each pair and use this formula to calculate the missing values? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question A. Okay, we have B is inversely proportional to A. We can model this using K. We'll substitute in that B is equal to 4 when a is equal to 20. Multiply both sides by 20. 
and k is equal to 80. So our model is b is equal to 80 over a. And we'll use this model to find the value of b when a equals 16. So b is equal to 5. And when b is equal to 40, we have 40 is equal to 80 over a. So a will equal 2. And finally, for our last question, we have W is inversely proportional to G. We can model this using the value of K. We'll substitute in W is equal to 9 when G is equal to 5. Multiply both sides by 5. And we can see that K is equal to 45. So our model is that W is equal to 45 over G. And we can use this model to work out the value of W when G is equal to 3. So W is equal to 45 divided by 3, which is equal to 15. And lastly, we have the value of W is 100. And we're going to use our model to work out a value of g. We will make g the subject of this equation by multiplying both sides by g. So 100g is equal to 45. We'll divide both by 100. So g will equal 45 divided by 100, not 0.45. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.